Welcome back to Number Corner. I am so happy to see you again. Remember, there are different ways to count how many days we've been in school. Let's update that number. If yesterday was our 30th day of school and we had been in school for 30 days, how many days have we been in school if today is the 31st day? Yesterday, we learned about counting collections. A counting collection is anything small that you have a lot of and can count. When you make your counting video, I want you to make your own counting collection. Today, I'm going to count how many days we've been in school using goldfish. You can count along with me as I count a piece of goldfish for each day we've been in school. And the trick I'm going to remind you of is, once you get to 10, 20, and 30, you can close your hands and start over. I also want you to notice the trick I use to help me keep track of how many pieces of goldfish I have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We've been in school for 31 days. For the past few weeks, we've been practicing a song to help us count to 20. Let's sing it again together. Are you ready? And I need you to stand up because there's a little dance that goes with it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jump, 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 stop, spin, 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 stop. I can count to 20. Great job, friends. Now, to make 31 on the 10 frame, I need to draw 31 circles and I would need three, oh, oh no, I would need four 10 frames. The thing is, I already have 30 dots on my 10 frames up here. If I already have 30 dots on these 10 frames, to make 31, I just need to add how many? Oh, that's right, I just need to add one more to make 30. I just need to add one more to make 31. Now earlier, we counted the goldfish by ones to get to 31, but that takes quite a long time. Remember, if I already know that these 10 frames are full, I can pound. Remember, if I already know these 10 frames are full, I can count by tens to count faster. <laughs> Let's sing our song for counting by tens together. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This is how we count by our tens. So I would say 10, 20, 30 and count on from there. Are you ready, friends? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 31. All right, we are done updating our 10 frames. When there is a dot in each of the 10 boxes of our 10 frame, that means our 10 frame is full. And remember, it's the same for our links. When we have 10 links on the chain, we can start a new one. And if I already know I have three groups of 10, just like over there, I can just say 10, 20, 30, and then count on. Are you ready, friends? 10. 
Now let's look at our calendar. Remember, each day this month we will flip over one of these cards and on each card is a number for each day. The month we're in right now is September. And today we're flipping our last card for September. But before we do that, let's sing our song about the months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Great job, friends. Now we know that people use calendars to find out what day of the week it is and that this row up here lists the days of the week. <laughs> Let's sing our song about the days of the week. Are you ready? Show me seven. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job, friends. Do you know what today is? If yesterday was Tuesday, then today is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we can say, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, September 30th, September 30th, 2020. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday. Great job, friends. Now remember, for the month of September, it's your job to make a prediction or a guess about what shape will be on the card for today. It is the 30th day of September. It is September 30th, 2020, our very last day of September. What do you think the shape of today might be? Stop and think. Yesterday was a plate shaped like a circle. Will it be a circle, a rectangle, a triangle, or a square? Well, let's find out. <gasps> it's a door and what shape is our door? You're right, it's a rectangle, great job. Tomorrow will be a brand new month with new activities. I can't wait to play some new games with you. Okay friends, yesterday we played a new game to help us practice writing numbers from one to nine. Today, we're gonna play that game again. And remember, it's a guessing game. And I'm going to have three cups. Your job is to write down the number you think the teddy bear is going to be under. And it's okay if you don't get it right. This is just a guessing game, just for fun. Ready? Where is the bear? Is it going to be under number one, number two, or number three? Write your guess. Now let's find out. Was it under number one? No. Was it under number two? No. That means it must be a number three. All right, let's play again. Where is the bear? Will it be under number one, number two, or number three. Write your guess. All right, let's check. Is it under number three? No. Is it under number two? <gasps> yes. All right, let's play again. Where's the bear? Is it under number four? Number five or number six? Write your guess. All right, let's check. Is it under number four? No. Is it under number five? <gasps> yes. All right, let's play again. Where's the bear? Write your guess. Is it under number four? <gasps> yes! All right, let's play again. 
Where's the bear? Is it under number seven, eight, or nine? Write your guess. Is it under number nine? <gasps> yes! Let's play again. Where's the bear? Write your guess. All right, let's check. Is it under number nine? No. Is it under number eight? No. That must mean it's under number seven. Great job, friends. Let's play again tomorrow. Great job practicing those numbers with me. Let's practice a little bit of counting with half and hop. Let's ha count with half going forward. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Great job, friends. Now it's Hop's turn. Let's count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome! I had a lot of fun playing all these games with you. I'll see you again tomorrow.